Today we're going to look at a quick tour of classroom screen. When I get to the main page, I'm just going to click launch now. You do not need to sign up for an account. So you can see now my classroom screen is very busy. That's because I preloaded every single widget so that we can see what this will look like. I can change the background of this. So I've got selected backgrounds from classroom screen and I can also upload my own background. So that's a nice little feature if there is something special that you want to use in there. I'm just gonna keep it with the basic one. So going along the top here in the top left-hand corner, I have poll. Now with each of these widgets, I am able to click on the three dots and spotlight that widget, which means it's gonna show just that one. So if maybe I'm having the students vote on something, they can actually come up to the screen and place their votes. We can see how everyone feels. So this can be a multiple choice question. It could be like a feeling question. It could be a true and false question and I can add multiples onto that screen. So that is called the poll widget. Next one, we have a random name. So right here, I've got this name, Donald. I'm going to spotlight him and I can show, and show another random. So if I have my students list and we're just picking random students, I'm able to select a random name right there. To edit those names, I'm gonna go into my settings and then I can just choose a class list and edit those names. Next, I have QR code. So if there is a QR code, I wanna send the students somewhere. I want them to use, um, if you have a student with iPads, if you have students with iPads, you can have them scan that QR code there. Next, you can see uh, it has been collecting that noise level for me. So this is how noisy is the classroom? So obviously you're gonna be using some microphone, whether it be from your laptop or your desktop, or if you've got another microphone you want to use and you can increase that. If you know that your students are gonna be working together, you can kind of increase and decrease that max noise. You can also choose to have a bell ring if they hit that max noise. And then again, you're able to change the sensitivity there. You can even go and have have it play a buzzer noise if the noise level is too loud in your classroom. Next one, we have an image. So I added my Bitmoji right there, just something extra. Again, I can add multiple images in there if the students um, need some kind of visual cues or if I want to just uh, jazz it up a little bit. The next one we have is text. So right here I have a to-do list and currently there's nothing on my to-do list, but I would add a to-do list. Maybe it's what I want the students to do when they come into the classroom, they're gonna have that to-do list right there. I can also change what this looks like. So with each of these, I can change the coloring of it to kind of highlight it a little more if I'd like to do that. After that to-do list, I have draw right here, and this is just going to give me a space and a pen to draw whatever I would like. So again, if I'm just having the students, maybe the students are going to be coming up and drawing, um, or I am drawing something in there, I do have some shapes as well. The next one we have is called work symbols. So you can see here I have ask a neighbor, but you've got four different options. I want them to be silent. I want them to be in a whisper they can ask a neighbor, or we're all working together. And that's maybe where I adjust these noise levels in the classroom. So these are just work indicators. Now, next, underneath that, I have a timer. And this, I can let it go. So maybe first five minutes of class, we're gonna be doing this, and that's part of my to-do list. And so I set that timer, press play, and then when it goes off, we'll have a little buzzer. And that just reminds me as a teacher, okay, what, now we're ready to move on, and we're gonna keep that timer going. Right above that, I have my traffic light. So are we moving around? Green, should we be starting to put things away, get back to our seats, clean up the classroom a little bit? And then should we be in our seats? So we can say, uh, you know, what are gonna be the indicators for our class and what does all of that mean? Next to that, I have the time. I am able to, as I adjust these, show the time with the clock as well as a digital clock. So just depending on how I want to display that, that time is always going to show there. That's the same thing with the one underneath it, which is a calendar. I can display the whole calendar or I can display just the day like that. So depending on how I resize it, it's going to display it differently. Underneath that, we have a dice. So with this one, maybe I'm having the students um, do some quick math problems, like we're just going to be uh, 
writing down the numbers that are rolled. I can do two dice, I can do one, three, and then I can also change the type of dice that I use. So with this, I just press the button and it will roll the dice for them. And then next to that on this screen, I have embedded a Google slideshow and I can actually interact with this Google slideshow, which also means that I am able to, sorry, I am able to spotlight this. And so then I could go and present that Google slideshow. So I could really have everything kind of packaged together for an entire class period right within this classroom screen. I wasn't able to, to fit everything all on one screen, so I do have a second screen here. My second screen is going to include my webcam. Hi, everyone. I have also included a little mix of some music, some ambient music in there. I have a stopwatch, so if I want the students to be going and working on something, I'm going to create that stopwatch. I could also do a timer for that. And then the last one here is group work. So I've, I've given all of my, or I've put my entire class list in, and then I can shuffle those groups. Okay, these are your first groups that you're going to work with. And then, hey, these are your second groups. You've got the next five minutes to complete whatever task it is, uh, and, and you should be working together on this. Maybe I even add a little work symbol. Um, groups should be whispering while they are doing their assignments. So, um, and I can create multiple groups in there, depending on how many students I have, create maybe six groups of five students each. So it's a really easy way to break up the students and not have to um, tell everybody the group as, groups and then repeat myself because they didn't listen the first time. So this is classroom screen. It's a really great tool for you to use and just kind of keep you organized as a teacher. Uh, we hope you guys like this.